Ultraviolet by Justine Skye. Justine Indira Skyers hails from Fort Greene in Brooklyn, New York City. She is of African, Indian, and Jamaican descent. She got noticed when she accompanied her mother, Nova Perry, a music attorney, to a BMI panel. She asked to sing during the Q&A session in front of various execs, leading them to keep an eye on her. She started taking singing lessons and honing her songwriting skills. She signed with Atlantic in 2013, but she would eventually leave Atlantic for Rock Nation and Republic Records. Ultraviolet is Justine's debut album, but fourth project. How do we feel about it? Yo, Justine Scott, a.k.a. the girl with the purple hair. Hmm. That's what some people call her, because she's, okay. she's had purple hair for it forever. Uh, Justine Scott, I heard about her not too long ago, maybe like two years ago, 2016. And uh, she had a song with Wale, which I clicked on. It was cool. Maybe that's why I remember her. Yeah. And um, listening to this, when I first got ready to review, because I, I considered like we should probably review this like a week ago. Yeah. But I ended up saying nah, because there was some other stuff that came out. And uh, I was going to trash it at first, because mm-hmm. the two singles we heard in the two videos, right, they, they was, they was kind of booty. We were just like, yo, what the fuck is this? Mm-hmm. But after listening to the whole project, I see that I think my, my assumption is that she was trying to pick the singles that didn't sound like everybody else. Okay. Because when you listen to this album, it sounds like you'll hear familiar points referencing the other artists throughout the project. Yeah. Uh, Wasteland is a great track. You know what I'm saying? It came on. The beat is hard. I love the vocals. I love how you know she's singing the song. I love the arrangement. Uh, Good Love is the first song that she did uh, Well, that's on the album that has Party Next Door included on it. Uh, this was one of the songs you got if you pre-ordered it. Mm-hmm. And um, I actually like this song. I think it's actually pretty dope. Um, it, it's kind of like a little bit of a sample from an older song called Good Love, but I don't think they credited it. Um, might get sued for that. Uh, <laughs> you Don't Know featuring WizKid was actually pretty cool. Yeah. So, uh, they got a music video for that song. Okay. Uh, Back For Me. All right, back for more. When we saw this video, this is one of the videos we were like, yo, this shit is ass. Like, what is she doing? But after listening to the album so much, I actually came to like the song. It's actually pretty dope. I believe Hitmaker wrote this joint, Young Bird. Okay. Uh, Don't Think About It is another song. I think there's a video for that as well, and I don't think we liked it at first, but I don't like this song at all still after listening to the joint. You Got Me, Second Joint Party Next Door wrote. Really dope song to me. I really like that song. Heaven Is Cool. Push You is another song. I think that was wrote by Party as well. I think Party excels when he writes for other people, pushes them. And uh, it's, it's a pretty cool song. Little Boy, um, I believe it was wrote, written by a rapper. And um, I don't know, I can't remember his name. But I actually like what she did with the song. I'm not a huge fan of the hook, but I, I, I get it. Yeah. You know. And Best for Last is actually really dope. I like how uh, whoever made the beat sampled the Monica So Gone beat. I thought that was really good. It was perfect. I liked the way they slowed it down. They changed it up enough to where it didn't sound like Monica's song all over again. Right. But uh, uh, and the other thing she said, Party pushed her to rap um, Good Love because she didn't want to. She thought she should sing it. And Party was like, yo, do you trust me? Just trust me on this one and I'll help you. And uh, one of these songs, I can't remember which song, but the dude that wrote Love on the Brain for Rihanna wrote that song. I don't know what song it is. I can't remember. I'll probably put it at the bottom. But uh. Overall, I think she has a decent voice because she uses auto-tune from here to there. I can't really hear like a super high range of vocals. She's not blowing out no fucking Jennifer Hudson or anything like that. It's not happening. But she has something that she can add to the industry. And I thought the album was solid. I gave it a C. Yeah. Um, I thought, you know, when the album started off, it started off a little dry for me. Like Wasteland and Good Love was just kind of boring. I was just going to keep it on it. Like, I, I think I think she has a nice voice, but I just didn't think it was, like, anything really catching to me. But it wasn't until You Don't Know came on with where I was just like, okay, I, I like where she's going with this. Back for more, I actually liked it the first time I heard it. It was pretty dope. Don't think about it. I wasn't feeling that at all. I just thought it really wasn't nothing too, you know, ear-catching for me, you know. Uh, you Got Me was all right. Heaven was really dope. I really loved the arrangement of that. Pusha and Little Boy, I could do without. And Best for Last was okay way to end the project. But overall, I really just thought this was something you could casually listen to. I didn't really think it was nothing that would like blow, blow your ears away. Like, it's amazing. Um, 
I have to check out some of the videos to myself to see how her like stage presence is, you know, just performing in front of the camera. But she has a voice. She has you no know, talent. I'm not going to knock it. It's just nothing that is memorable, in my opinion. But, you know, I thought it was solid. I gave it a C. Right. I do want to uh, point out that I, I feel like she said that the album, I, I'm assuming it's ultraviolet because, you know, for one, she's usually wearing purple hair. Right. And she was just saying that, like, normally she's kind of reserved, chill. Okay. But this album is, like, more edgy, saying what she feels and stuff like that. It seemed like it's going for that real kind of, like, I don't want to say commercial, but just that kind of like that relaxing party kind of vibe kind of feel. So I, I can understand that. Yeah. Definitely. Seemed like she was coming out of her, her, her element a little bit. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely good enough that everybody should check it out because I think no matter who you are, there's something up here that you'll like. Right, yeah. Yo, you looking for TV reviews, music reviews, movie reviews? Then check out the only reviews that matter, man. Yeah, just hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the notifications and stay tuned.